Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we're bringing through messages and guidance from your future self. Um, and we're going to just take a look at what your future self wants to say to you in this moment. Any guidance about this specific moment for you energetically. Um, for those of you that don't know what that means, our future self is technically our higher self. Um, our higher self knows all, you know what I mean? It's already lived this incarnation because time is not real. Um, it sees everything, it sees all the timelines. And even when we do healing or we do clearing and we do soul retrieval or whatever it is, we're going back to the past versions of ourselves and we are teaching them and healing them and working with them and bringing them back from, you know, any pain that they're still working through in that old timeline. That's what we do. So I really wanted to kind of like soul retrieval but for the, from the future bring guidance and messages from your future self to you now and just take a look at what your future self would be saying to you right now having maybe already learned the lessons that you already have or i've already gotten over this you know um hell that you've already gone over if that makes sense if you've already that you've already walked over um so i have three crystals for you guys to choose from pile number one is the clear quartz pile number two in the middle is the amethyst sophia i'm not going to pick it up um just because it'll start rolling it took me a minute to get it in its place um and pile number three on the right is the red jasper so see which crystal you're drawn to the timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual as usual and i will see you guys at your timestamps hey pal one welcome to your reading so we are bringing through guidance from your sorry for the noise um the crickiness um we're bringing through guidance from your future self so I'm going to start with tarot and move on to the oracle cards. I haven't even opened the deck yet. I put them back in the deck, in the box, and didn't open them. So let's get them out. Okay. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. Tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. Tap me in to the collective of my pile number ones. Guidance from pile number ones, future selves guidance from pile number one's future selves guidance from pile number one's future selves i keep being shown a star in the sky um but like you know like when you see stars and they're drawn by like kids like i'm being shown something like that like i'm being shown like a bright yellow false looking star if that makes sense like that's how it's been shown to me wheel of fortune guidance from pile number ones higher selves guidance from pile number ones higher selves two of pentacles guidance from pile number ones higher selves we have the queen of pentacles and we have the seven of swords as well okay Okay, two of swords are at the back of the deck. It's interesting that there's an energy about something that you're not seeing and I keep being shown the yin yang. What I'm actually being shown, if I can try and make the vision make sense, is I'm being shown somebody walking down a path and not realizing that it's mirrored below. So it's like the conscious path that I can see that I'm walking down. I'm not realizing that there's like a shadow path. I'm also walking down that subconscious path. That's what I keep being shown. Like I'm being shown two kind of layers. Um, and there's a reference of, I don't know if sometimes you guys can feel a little bit impatient or if there's something that you're wanting to bring in or manifest or build. Um, it's like you, you may feel like you're consciously ready um, but then it's almost like something isn't coming in or something's moving slow, but I keep being shown and I want to also reference that not only are you guys like a light worker, you're also a shadow worker and what you don't realize is just as much as you're above the water, your legs are still below water too and when things are manifesting and things are building, it's not that it's coming in slow or that things are being delayed. I keep being shown that energetically you're also clearing and working on aligning your subconscious with what it is that you're bringing into i hope this makes sense so 
let's just say you have a manifestation because I'm being shown that star in the sky and you really want it to come in and it's a really big manifestation and it's like you're prepping everything, you're getting everything in order, you're building, but it's like what you're not realizing is also energetically there's so much clearing and being purged out and flowing out as well. So sometimes it can take a little bit longer because I think there's something you might be trying to manifest in or bring into fruition and I keep being shown that like it's it's work like it, it's all happening but I, I just saw 333 on the on the timer but it's like there's a lot subconsciously happening as well it's like old roots are literally being ripped up there's a lot of nurturing going back into the soil and there's something about really taking your time um I don't know if you guys have a lot of satin placements or satin rules your chart there's like a reference to satin here but there's something about taking the time nurturing the crops and it's like it's not delayed nothing's delayed it's all coming in divine time and it's just I feel like as well it's quite interesting because when I tap into you and I'm saying as much as you're a light worker you're a shadow worker I keep referencing that you guys are um like there's a celestial vibe here I feel like you're very connected to the higher higher realms and of course in the higher realms things just instantly happen things just manifest and then there's a reference of like your soul being on earth like i feel like you're very psychic so you'll have these visions of where you need to go and then it's like where is it where is it where is it but it's like you're energetically aligning your whole self with it your whole body with it i feel like you guys are the type of souls that literally become something that you're aligning with and become something that you're connecting with and it takes a minute for the old paradigms to dismantle and the new ones to come and that's what i keep being shown because there's something i keep being told about like tender loving care and making sure that you're nurturing your roots um and enjoying where you're at right now because i keep feeling this go get or energy where i almost feel like I'm not doing enough and it because I keep being shown you going through periods or like little bouts where you feel like you're coasting or you feel like I'm just resting and I'm not doing anything like I don't know why I feel like I'm looking at let's just say last year for example and I'm like wow I really didn't do anything like I just didn't um make any advancements or I didn't get that you know whatever it is that I wanted to manifest that year didn't come in or whatever it is I was trying to build that year didn't come in and I see you looking at time periods where things move slow, but I keep being shown that if you actually look at it, a lot happens in those time periods. You could have cleared really, you know, big wounds or that resting was needed for like that replenishment. Like there's a lot going on energetically then that you're not seeing because I keep feeling like I'm here in rat race and I keep thinking like, oh, well, this person's in a, in a relationship and most people around me are, are here in a relationship or these people have all this money and they're in this job and it's like amazing for them or these, you know, these people have this or these people have this on that timeline and there's a reference of like timelines aren't real and there's a lot happening behind the scenes in underground bubbling that you also don't see because I keep being shown somebody walking in the water and half of their body is up out of the water and half of the body is under the water when we walk into the sea especially when I, it happens on my beaches but i know loads of beaches everywhere else are different but the beaches where i live like because the sand obviously comes up into the water when you step in it's a little bit murky when you first put your feet in um you can't really see down sometimes especially if it's like really foggy outside or it's been raining you can't really see it's just welsh, welsh weather for you it's always raining but um it's like you can't really see the bottom of the ocean so you have to trust that a crab isn't going to come and pinch you or a jellyfish isn't going to come and sting you you have to kind of trust that you know what i mean so there's a reference of you not being able to see below um and i think the biggest thing that you're learning in this lifetime it's actually a big lesson for your soul in this incarnation is trust and trust in the pro process because i keep I, I feel like you guys are very high achievers and i feel like you guys have a lot that you wanted to bring in but the very cliche say in a room wasn't built in a day um, is a really, really big message. And when we want to build a garden, we don't want to rush it and we want to just take our time and there's also a reference of like looking at other people's gardens and let's say you've just turned over the soil and you've worked with the weeds or whatever and you're planting seeds right now and watering them every day and you're looking left and right at everybody's gardens and they're all fluorescent there's also a reference of like really squint and look at the gardens you're looking at because those are artificial flowers or that's artificial gra grass or you know it's also like you don't know how long that person's been nurturing that garden themselves too you know there's that reference as well um because i keep feeling like i'm looking i don't know why i feel like i'm looking at somebody's garden and i'm like wow they have like trellises with like all the pink flowers and the 
daffodils and the ivy and all of that but it's like if i actually went there there wouldn't even be a nice smell it would be a plasticky smell because it's artificial and i feel like i'm looking at that because there's a reference of if we rush a garden and we i mean you can't even rush a flower to grow but if we were to rush that process it wouldn't look as ni nice i feel like there's something you're really building that i keep wanting to say of substance um and that's what your future self is referencing that you're kind of in the midst of building something and there's actually a lot going on underground that you just are not seeing um there's a lot that's being cleared there's a lot that's being worked through there's a lot of things that maybe you haven't even realized that you're going to realize um that are going to activate and bring you where you need to be and there's a reference of making sure that you're tending to where you are right now and really listening to your body and what it is you need to do because i keep feeling like i'm um i keep feeling like i'm getting swayed with the wind at times like maybe i'm saving money but people want me to like buck to go here or buy this or go on this night out with them and it's like but no i don't really want to do that and i'm kind of falling into an old pattern of doing maybe what other people would want to do when really this is what i actually want to do or I'm tired and I want to rest maybe I'm receiving downloads or maybe I'm just resting up my energy but then it's almost like no but I've got to work and I've got to do this and I've got to do that there's a reference to rest and really listen to your body as well right now um there's a reference definitely of nurturing your vessel that's a big thing coming from your future self make sure you're nurturing your vessel but it feels slow so this doesn't feel like get and do all these workouts and do all of these things there's a reference of taking care of it and nurturing it that's a big thing but also whatever it is that you're doing take your time and nurture it don't push don't force and don't worry about timelines and why isn't this year why isn't that year i was wondering what that noise was then it's my cat's chasing hi patties padme has come and she is um she has strong mother energy so it's interesting that we're talking about nurturing she's come and sat on my knee hi baby girl um but yeah there's a reference of that like don't look at other people's timelines or what they have or any of that because i feel like you're you're creating your own castle in your own way you're nurturing your own reality in your own way but there's something you're wanting to bring in or it's a lifestyle or it's something you're like why is it not here but i feel like at times when you currently are falling back or moving slow there's a lot being moved in the subconscious side energetically I see I I feel like at night time I'm releasing. I, I don't know if at night sometimes you get really weepy and emotional at night time. Um because I almost feel like when you sleep, I feel like your body releases. And I keep feeling like the later it's getting, the more I'm, it's coming to nighttime, I feel weepy. I feel sad. I feel a bit empty, but it's almost like my body's prepping for the release that's gonna happen. Um the clearing that's gonna happen. I keep being shown that as well. Um because I feel like some of you guys come incarnated incarnated into really karmic lines as well where there's been a lot of um clear and that's needed to be done like you were probably dealt with maybe a garden that had a lot of weeds and like a, a tree that had fallen over into the garden or whatever like you've been clearing that up and i feel like you're building then something of substance so there's a reference of not to worry about you know the artificial flowers like there's no bees in that garden you know and maybe somebody else's garden looks beautiful but they started way before you and they put blood sweat and tears into that too you know what i mean like it's that type of vibe that i'm being shown there's a reference of not comparing yourself because i feel like you may be in a phase where you're comparing yourself or just feeling like you're a little behind um or like where is this why am i not where i need to be and there's a reference of um you have time and everything's happening when it's when it's supposed to just keep nurturing you and, and moving slow i feel like you're meant you're learning i feel like you're used to being the hair in other lifetimes like you're used to just like building fast like whatever and i feel like this lifetime you're learning to be the tortoise i feel like you're learning to take it slow and nurture and find the true value and meaning in things you know what i mean um that's what i'm being shown and that's a message from your future self uh because i feel like you're gonna look back at this time and you're gonna be like oh why didn't i just chill out it was all coming together why didn't i just move slow why was i putting so much pressure on myself it's reminded me when i first like went in like through my ego death and i was in that like void stage and i was starting to purge and every morning i was trying so hard to like not be in that energy and i would wake up every morning and i would try and work out and I would try and force my body into doing all these things and rushing and waking up early for no reason whatsoever. And it was just like, 
now I look back and I'm like what was the point of that why was I pushing why didn't I just rest because now I'm like god I wish I, I rested up then because I you know it's like I I, I want to do that now so um I look back at that time and I, I want to reference that because I feel like that may be your future self coming in being like this time you're gonna look back and be like why did I stress it was all coming together why was I so bothered like it was all it was it all turned out fine I don't know why I was getting so worked up um but yeah there's a lot with the two swords there's a lot you're not seeing underneath uh behind the scenes I will say so let's pull your oracle cards I'm gonna pull three pile number one please for the guides guidance from pile number one's future selves please guidance from pile number one's future selves oh goodness we have we have soul family soul family we have soul name and one more card please and soul song that's a lot of soul 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 it's quite interesting they don't all say soul so that's very interesting the back of the deck you have awakening at the back of the deck okay soul family soul name soul song soul family soul name soul song you're really you're building something or the energy going into your life or whatever it is that you're doing your soul like your higher self is very protective over it's almost like the right relationship that's going to feed me is going to really see me and the right career that's really going to feed me i'm going to give my all to and it's like when i tap into my body and i tap into my feelings and i tap into that energy the energy that i give in it's purity means so much to me um what i'm bringing to earth the frequencies i'm bringing to earth they mean something there's a lot of meaning here and I think that's why there's a reference of moving slow kind of tasting all the flavors of the food you're eating type of thing because it's like everything has value and everything has meaning and I need to take my time so I can really nurture it before I put it out there so if it, this is def if this is connected to either a lifestyle that you're trying to create or if this is connected to a business that you're trying to build there's a reference of you needing to move it needing you needing to move slow and energies needing to align in that way because the nurturing you're putting into that soil and water and you know the water you're putting into the plants and the sunlight that it's getting it, it all means a lot there's a really big purpose there in regards to something that you're building that maybe you're getting a little bit annoyed of like why isn't it here yet there's intent and when we rush we miss having that intent you know so that's what I'm being shown. It's also reminding me as well of like, you know, you get those artists and they barely drop music, but when they do, it's so beloved. Like everybody loves it. I'm thinking of like Frank Ocean, or I'm thinking of like when SZA, she's only dropped the two album. I know she has an EP before that, but she had that one album and then it wasn't until five years later she dropped another one, you know? And people are still like, we want more, we want more. Even though her last album had like 20 something tracks on it. People are like, more, you know? Um, so there's a reference of that, of like the intent I'm putting behind it. It's like Lauren Hill. Like she put one album out and it's still beloved and like everyone loves it. And it, it, it was, it, it was so good if you listen to the lyrics and it was so soulful and it was so, I don't know. It was, it was quality. You know what I mean? Um, so there's a reference there about like that's your imprint too like your uh, quality kind of soul <laughs> if that makes sense that's what i'm getting with these three cards because it's like there's so much intent behind the movements and that's why maybe you're not seeing a lot of what's going on behind the scenes or what's subconsciously being moved at the same time because i also feel like your soul is i, I see your soul going underground and it's like i'm sweeping mud but you're not seeing that you know what i mean you'll just wake up and weep or like one day you'll just be crying over something but it's like it's because it's purging and grieving out because i see a soul like with a broom like sweeping like a chimney sweep that's what i'm being shown 
um so yeah pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are bringing through guidance and messages from your future self so I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle cards. So pile number two, please, spirit guides, the amethyst pile. Pile number two. I don't know if you have the pile that like, I'm like, oh, you feel like a friend. I just want to talk to you because I feel like I need to tell you things <laughs> the minute I'm tapping in because I was literally just going to say, I was going to be like, I don't know why I was going to say like, I don't know if you guys get this, but I'm going to say it anyway, really quickly. You know, as you ground back into your body and you connect more and you nurture your body more and you listen to your body more. I don't know if you guys get sensitivities to things, but at, like in regards to like clothes and things in your hair and your body. But like I'm wearing long sleeves and I'm shuffling and it's like my skin feels so sensitive, like it's irritating me. And I've never had that, but I feel like it's I've always had it. I was just bypassing it, if that makes sense. And now I'm connecting to my body. It's like, oh, clothes. Oh. I want to be like Adam and Eve and just not wear anything. Um, but pile number two, let's get it. And pile number two, you're definitely that pile that I'm like, oh, you're like a friend to me. Pile number two. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Guidance from pile number two's future. Future selves. Pile number two's future selves. Guidance from pile number two's future selves. We have the King of Pentacles. Guidance from pile number two's future stars. If you hear a noise, it's Vader. Queen of Cups. Guidance from pile number two's future selves. We have the Seven of Wands. Guidance from pile number two's future selves. Please, spirit guides. Oh, goodness. I have your card. It's just fallen. Hang on. We have the Four of Wands as well. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, and in the back of the deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, pile number two is Future Selves. Please, Spirit Guides, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Four of Wands. That is, okay, I'm literally being shown a veil being lifted over my head in the sense of like being seen by other people i don't know if you guys have a fear of being seen it's almost like my true nature or like what it is that i like my dislikes or even my opinions and my needs i almost feel like i need to cocoon them i need to repress them i need to hide them away um and it's almost like i'm trying to not like oh i'm trying to fit in with everything around me but it's almost like i'm um the thing is about you guys i feel like you're very clear sentient and i feel like you guys are very very empathic and i think that you can read a room and become what that room needs very similar to water you may be my water pile so it's like when like i always say when water moves into a cup or it moves into a bowl it takes the form of that but at the end of the day it's still water but it takes the form of like another another object let, let's say you know what i mean it takes the form of the ocean the river whatever it is and there's a reference of like sometimes you guys just naturally doing that as well because I feel like you're very clear because you're able to take on the energies of others and there's a reference right now of I wouldn't even say it's spending time alone because I do feel like you guys spend a lot of your time alone but I'm almost I feel like I'm nurturing little okay let me think it's like little like i'm nurturing little things that i like to do and i'm almost like popping myself out of my comfort zone to go and do it like i don't know if there's places that you wanted to go to or things that you wanted to do and then you've always felt like oh i don't know or there's things that you wanted to wear and you're like mm, i don't know i like i feel like i want to really sit with my own energy and really listen i feel like I, I sometimes distract myself that's literally how i'm feeling i feel like i'm distracting myself from what my body actually wants or what i actually want um and it feels like it happens more so on a social setting but there's a reference of starting something now 
like solo while you're on your own um and then it'll ripple into other places because it's like let's just say like you're laying in bed in the morning and you've got like nothing to do till the afternoon i feel like you're the type of person that it's like i've got like a list of things in my head it's like right i've got to go do this i've got to go do that i've got to go do this but it's like your body's are your energy's like no 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 i just want to nurture myself i literally just want to nurture myself i want to just fall back i want to um i want to rest that's literally the feeling that i'm getting or i keep seeing i don't know if you get this because it's more like a sensation but i'm being shown somebody laying in bed and then there's like this it's like an energy kind of like pressure in like an area of my body where it's coming from like certain chakras because for some of you guys i'm getting it in my heart space others of you others of you i'm getting it either in my root or my sacral and i'm literally feeling like i want to move my body around or move like my lower body around i feel like there's like a pressure there or something like that like but it's like an energy that's kind of like stuck and it's almost like instead of feeling into it because it's uncomfortable and it's making me feel something that that feels like that's like sitting in that silence of it or sitting into that feeling or feeling into that feeling it feels uncomfortable i'm naturally like, kind of like overwriting it like i'm just gonna scroll tiktok or i'm just gonna go read a book or i'm just gonna try and distract myself instead of actually sitting with it or i'm just gonna go work or i'm just gonna go do all of these different things it's like i'm distracting myself from something my body's trying to do or a movement or like a feeling that's coming up i feel like i'm distracting it and jumping out of it because it's almost like my mind's always told me like i've got to jump into something else and then the body's almost like calling out and yearning for some sort of movement or release um but it's almost like i'm distracting that if that makes sense i'm almost kind of just trying to look away and then it's like in every day then i, I see there's almost like a bypassing of um how do i put this into words um it's almost like a bypassing of i keep seeing you put off things that you want to do or just sitting in an energy that you want to like i see you wanting to be really quiet and then i don't know if it's like a partner or a family member or a friend just yapping and in your mind you're like please 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 stop but it's like you entertain the conversation because it's like well i i just kind of i'm just used to it you know what i mean i'm just used to entertaining others i'm used to nurturing others i'm just used to it so i just kind of do it even though i don't want to or you'll have like a bunch of texts or whatever it is on your phone and then it's like i really don't want to talk to anyone right now which is normal we're not meant to be in contact with everybody all the time but then it's almost like but i've got to and then it's like you're overwriting that need to sit with something to sit in just your energy because you feel like you have to respond to people or you have to get back to people or you have to do all of these things and then it transpires then into social situations where it's like everybody wants to eat at this place but you don't want to eat that but then it's like i'm just doing it anyway or this person wants to go here but i don't want to do that or this person wants to listen to loud music and i don't need that right now so there's a reference of sometimes aligning with other people's energy and i feel like it's one because you're very sentient. but for some of you guys this could also be connected to childhood if you learn to people please in childhood and just know if that is the case that can take years for us to work through it please don't put yourself down if you've been working on you know a people pleasing wound or an overgiven wound or a self-sacrificing wound and you still sometimes fall back it's very normal it takes time the self-love journey isn't a start and end it's for the rest of your life there's always going to be things you know that you might fall back on or struggle to speak up for yourself with that's very normal there's a reference from your future self of not putting yourself down when you fall back or give in to other energies because i feel like you're used to flowing with other people's currents if that makes sense and that's like a factory set and maybe in your brain or in your energy and it's going to take a minute to unwind and unlearn and just if you fall back, it doesn't mean you're not working on it. You know what I mean? Um, because this feels like something that might have been quite embedded as well. And a lot of the times when we people please and we self-sacrifice in childhood, that creates empaths. That creates people that are highly class sentient because we learn to look out for danger and take care of everyone's needs and read the room. We learn to do it and we become hyper aware, which is us flexing that class sentient muscle. And that can become a really strong gift, which I see that you guys have. So there's a reference here of taking some time out for yourself right now that's how it feels and really sitting in what it is that you like to do um and what it is that you like it's not just a case of like what are my needs it's almost like what do you want to do right now 
how do you actually feel right now? Because I feel like some of you guys may be feeling pressure of like, I need to get this business sorted or I need to like be further ahead in my career or I need to be head into the gym all the time. But it's like, yes, they may be tasks and that's fine. But if you just offer like, but what do you want to do right now? Because the reason, I feel like there's something that you're maybe not getting off the ground or something that you feel isn't moving the way that you want it to. But there's a reference of the reason it's not happening yet is because you're not nurturing yourself and what you want. Your body, your true self right now wants something different. Not in the sense of it wants to go down a different path, but it kind of needs your attention right now. Your own energy needs your attention right now. You need to be soothed and nurtured right now. There's a reference of tending to your own garden right now and listening to your body and listening to what it is that you want right now. Because I keep feeling like, yes, there's there's inspirations and things that you wanted to reach and they're there, but there's a reference from your future self like, they're going to be hit, they're there, but you can't do it with an empty tank. And there's a, there's I, I keep being shown... You being honestly, I feel like you're being tugged, and then you're jumping. You, you, I see you feeling very fatigued and tired, but it's because I see you jumping into what other people need to be, need you to be, because it's just like a factory sat in, and that's what we're being called to look at. I keep being shown you being pulled down, and then it's like I have no energy for what it is I wanted to run towards, or what it is I'm wanting to build. I have no energy for it because my body's calling out like, let me rest. I need to pull back. I need. I don't want to answer these emails. I don't want to answer these texts. I don't want to answer these things. And I'm not saying brush off your work, brush off like important emails. I mean things that genuinely don't need a response right now. You know what I mean? If your energy is that low, like I said, we're not meant to be communicating and readily available to everybody on the phone all the time and all these apps and seeing all of these things we're not meant to be doing it and on top of that I feel like you guys are so used to tending to other people's needs it's almost like even when you're on your own you may find you're still nurturing somebody else's need type of thing like um you may have grown up in a household where you had a parent that was really strict and like everything needs all the chores need to be done and you can't rest you can't listen to your body so you didn't listen to that body and you were like right i've got to do this 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 and this i've got to work 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 otherwise i'm not worthy I've, I've got to do all these things so it's like now you're living by yourself and you know there's no target of when that washing needs to be done you it could wait till tomorrow you got some clean clothes like it could wait but you're like nope i gotta do this i gotta do this and then it's like and i've got to go clear out that cupboard and i've got to do this and i've got to do that and it's like your body's like I'm tired <laughs> like I just don't want to I just want to rest I just want to I just want to be nurtured right now and it's almost like I'm overwriting it and then it's like I'm not giving the best energy maybe to things that I want to like maybe if I'm trying to build something up career-wise if I'm trying to head to the gym or if I'm trying to do whatever it is like and have that focus it's like I haven't got the energy for it then so there's a message of your future self right now um that I, I keep being shown you right now in a I'll just show you what I'm being shown. So I'm being shown you in like a ball. It's like a clear sphere, like a ball. Um, kind of like the little globe we've got over there. And it's like I'm inside of it. And I'm... I don't know if you guys have been feeling stuck or feeling like you're going round in circles. That's how I feel. It's not that you're going round in circles or that you're stuck. It's like the root keeps becoming undone. Like I keep sticking the root back into the ground. And then as I'm starting to grow, my energy is going here, there and everywhere. I'm getting tugged here, there and everywhere. And then I'm getting pulled from my root. And then I, I'm not being fed because obviously the root, a flower with the root in the ground is being nurtured by Mother Gaia and fed by Mother Gaia. So when that root comes off, it's not being fed. So then you're giving all that energy to other people. And then it's like, oh, why am I tired? But I'm looking back and I've just come out of the ground again. I just came out because I was jumping into everybody else's energy and I've just come out of the ground again. And that's why you may feel like you're going around in cycles right now um, and you're going around in like something's not moving and spirits like you're what matters. This is the, this is the reference from your higher self and it's your guides coming through strongly as well. You matter. Your needs matter. I keep feeling guilt when I'm saying that. I feel like I'm saying it to you and then I feel emotional and then I'm hearing like guilt of like, but I haven't replied to that person and I haven't got that done and I didn't run that errand I was supposed to. And it's like, you matter. Your feelings right now matter. Your body matters. You know what I mean? Your soul matters. What you want to do right now matters. You don't need an excuse. 
you don't need oh, I didn't know what that noise was and it was a candle you don't need um an explanation like an explanation to give it's like you matter you don't need to be you know on the phone constantly responding to everyone or being what everybody needs to be right now you matter and that's why we want to nurture the roots right now that's the reference from your future self because it's like you're not going around in circles and you're not stuck you're just you keep coming out from the socket <laughs> you're pulling on your energy too much that you're uh, you're allowing others to pull at you and uh, the boundaries need to be stronger because it's like we're being yanked out of the socket when you yank something out of the socket whatever was plugged in turns off the tv turns off you know what i mean so we want to like root in and really really nurture those roots and really listen to what the body really wants right now and set up those boundaries because i don't know if some of you guys may be around somebody as well that's a little bit erratic emotionally um because i feel this energy of like i'm taking it on i feel guilt for this person feeling that way or i feel like i need to soothe this person and there's a reference to put a barrier up um in the sense of that's not my responsibility that you're reacting that way or that's not my responsibility that you're because i i don't know if you have i don't know if it's somebody from your past or somebody recently that it, it's almost like you feel obligated to kind of like soothe um you feel like you need to listen to their emotions and be a kind of therapist to them um because there's a reference of putting that shield up of like i'm not responsible for for that with you like i'm not your parent type of thing that's what i'm being shown as well um and do you know what i keep being shown as well you starting to put boundaries in and then people trying to push back on them with the seven of seven of wands and that's why i'm hearing there was a tweet i saw uh not that long ago and it was like sometimes boundaries aren't enough people need to have consequences <laughs> so it's like putting that boundary in and if people are pushing back and not listening it's almost like okay well my energy's going back then if you can't respect the boundary i'm going back into the shell you don't need to you know have that and almost explain it okay if you can't accept that right now i'm not emotionally available for you then you're just not getting any of me and i'm just gonna pop up back in the shell and when you're ready to understand that then i'll come back out of the shell i deserve to be nurtured too that's what I'm being shown with something. It almost feels like someone or like there's someone that I feel like there's some sort of like consequence that needs to be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna pop back in my shell. Not that you're cutting off, but like allowing them to know, okay, this is where I'm gonna pull back a little bit. You know what I mean? Because I see for, su for some people you've already put boundaries in, but some people might not be understanding it all too well, if that makes sense. Um, that's what I'm being shown because right now is about you the nine of pentacles at the back of the deck nurturing your garden and bringing things into your life that feed you the first thing I would say from your future so there's something I feel like you might be ignoring in terms of an energy coming up for you to purge that your future self is like this is a key that's going to have you go through a bit of a rebirth um and actually removing this it's almost like an energy sucker and I feel like removing this you're going to feel brighter so this could be different some of you guys could be laying there when, whenever you're in like a meditation or maybe at night when you're sleeping because this feels like when there's no distractions i don't know if there's something that comes up that you're like don't want to think about it or your body starts to move in like specific ways or like certain chakras like i was being shown the lower half of the body there's like a pressure or a tension there's a reference to really sit with whatever whatever this is and feel not analyze so don't think about it and analyze what could it be feel because something needs to come out there's something trying to come out body wise um it's like a trapped energy and it's trying to move through but it's like i'm fidgeting you know like sometimes when you play with a fidget spinner for me it sometimes happens when i shuffle cards where i'll feel like an energy that needs to come out like i'll feel like a stagnancy and i'll have to like move my body around and really listen to it something like that I feel like something needs to come out and you're being called to pay attention to that because there's going to be a release there that's going to be really beneficial for you and then it's like i'm listening to what my body wants because i'm tending to the garden and listening to what is going to feed my body because you've already done some clearing so it's like what's going to feed this new energy for me like is it being outside in nature is it playing you know certain games is it like 
creating you know art fashion anything like that like what's feeding me what 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 brings me light what brings me joy what's an energy giver because i feel like sometimes you have a lot of energy depletions energy depleters so it's like what's an energy giver what's giving me energy right now and really listening to your body and asking your body as well to show you because right now i feel like i'm in a loop or i'm stuck and spirit saying you're not in a loop or stuck at all um it's just the roots keep coming and it's like you keep sticking i feel like i don't know if sometimes you go through periods where you'll feel like you'll crash and then you understand yes i definitely have to root in and then i see you rooting and plugging in and it's like i definitely need to do that and then you start to grow again but it's like i'm um my brain's telling me i've got to do this 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 thing and then i i'm out the socket again i'm like ah oh. there's a reference there of really nurturing and taking your time that's what your future self is saying and that you're not stuck you're not stuck at all you need to bring more energies in that are feeding you okay let's pull your oracle cards pile number two please spirit guides Pile. I don't know if somebody's eating like refreshers or love hearts or like those little powdery sweets. I don't know what they'd be called anywhere else in the world, but like I, I just felt like I tasted like a love heart or a refresher. Um, I'm sure there's like lilac ones and they call like lavender or lilac. Purple violets. I'm sure that's what they're called, purple violets. I don't know. Um, but I, I swear I just tasted that. So we have let go. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. There's an old mindset that I feel like you have that maybe would have worked before, but now that you're starting to be more in tune with your body, mm -mm, it doesn't work anymore. And it's something that you're working on releasing. It's an old way that you would have adapted to survive. And I do think that's more tapping into an environment and becoming that environment. Whereas now it's like I'm rooting into the soil um and i'm staying as that flower in that soil you know what i mean like you come to me type of energy um that's what i see you doing and that's actually the next phase that you're in developing that to a high degree so don't be annoyed with yourself or frustrated like why haven't i why aren't i further ahead with this this is big this is like a big move this is a big shift it's going to take its time and you're right at the beginning so don't worry if you've fallen on your face at times because you're at the beginning of it you know we have soul song pile number two enlightenment okay the back of the deck you have divine feminine of course the divine feminine she just nurtures where she's at and she trusts that that energy is going to come and fill that and that abundance then is going to come she harnesses that energy right here and then everything flows through. And that's what you're mastering. You're currently mastering your feminine energy. That's what I'm being shown. Again, it doesn't matter the gender. It's just a frequency. Um, so right now you're still letting go of that old. It's like factory settings. It's like an old mindset. It's, it's, it's an old blueprint. You're learning to rumple that up and try something different. Take your time. Just bear with yourself. Take your time. And don't get annoyed with yourself. Please don't get annoyed with yourself. This is natural. It's like we don't get annoyed with babies when they're learning to walk. It's their first time. You know, we, they take their time. So you need to give yourself that same grace. I feel like you give a lot of people grace, but you may, might not give yourself grace. And I feel like there may be like a wound there of like feeling like you need to overachieve to feel worthy. You're worthy right now. You were worthy back then before you did any work. You're worthy right now. You're always going to be worthy. You begin with love. You end with love you began worthy you're going to end worthy when we do these clearings and we do work and we whatever it is we don't do it so that we're ready and um worthy of love and abundance we don't do it for that reason because we're always worthy of love and abundance we do it so we realize that we're worthy of love and abundance because if we don't think we're worthy of any of that we'll push it back until we've achieved this so we've achieved that or we've got this or we've got that or we've hit the nail on the head there but when ourselves understand, wait, I'm worthy. Wait, I'm deserving of love. That's when we're able to see it and welcome it in. But it's never that we weren't worthy. It was we didn't see it. It's not we're doing this work for anybody else to prove, yeah, we're worthy. It's so that we understand that we're worthy. I hope that makes sense. Because um, that's what I'm. That's what's coming through as a message from your 
um, from your future self. It's almost like I need to have everything together and I need to have all of these things sorted and I need to have everything where it needs to be. And your future self's like, we're building and we're growing. Yes, self-development is great, but don't attach your worth to it because that's not the point. The end goal isn't you receiving a crown and, oh, you're worthy because that was the case the whole time. You're wanting to understand that you are worthy in this moment, even when you haven't got your to-do list done. That's a big message that's coming through. Um, soul song, enlightenment. I also just want to reference that life is a journey as well. Um, and that, again, I keep looking at like, oh, I keep falling back and I keep falling back into factory settings and I keep tapping into everybody else's energy and falling back. And there's a reference of like, this is something you're learning. This is a path that you're learning and there's going to be ups and flows and ups and downs. Please take your time. Because enlightenment in itself is a journey. We go up and down, we fall back, we tap into our roots, then we go high into the celestial energies and we come back down. There's no start and end. It's like the song, Why Aren't You Smiling by Janae Eichel, or Ways, as it's spelt. She says, there's no end, there's no beginning. Um, and there's a reference of your future self wanting to mention that, because there is no, no end and no beginning. So just be present and take your time and listen to where you're at right now. I feel like your body and your energy right now actually has a lot that it wants to tell you, um, that it wants to almost give to you to allow it to pass through. So there's a reference of listening right now. So yeah, pile number two, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at guidance and messages from your future self. So you guys chose the red jasper. I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll move on to um, your oracle cards. I had to move a little bit and move the candle because right towards the end of pile two, I didn't realize because the candle was here, I had all black here um, and on here, which I'm still going to have to wipe down. Um, luckily, I noticed right at the end of the reading. So I've had to shift it so that doesn't happen. So yeah, pile number three, please, spirit guides. Pile number three, guidance and messages from pile number three's future selves, please. Guidance and messages from pile number three's future selves. Guidance and messages. Guidance and messages from pile number three's future selves. We have the four of wands. Guidance and messages from pile number three's future self. Guidance and, and messages from pile number three's future selves. We have the king of pentacles. We have the page of cups. Guidance, oh God. Guidance and messages from pile number uh, three's fu future selves. Couldn't get my words out there. Guidance and messages from pile number three's future selves. And we have the Two of Cups reversed. Okay. On the back of the deck, you have the Five of Wands. I just should have got to go my own way, the uh, High School Musical song. Um, Four of Wands, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups reversed. Okay. I don't know if you... Uh, there's something about letting something go because but I'm trying to look at it from an energetic perspective that's what I'm being shown from your future self it's almost like I'm throwing something back into um the ocean and I trust that when it comes back it'll come back in a different form so I don't know if there's someone that you just haven't been connecting with as much recently like if you have a friend or even it could even be like a partner and just things aren't working right like you're on one path there and another and this is only if this feels quite strong by the way there's almost this and it could even be like a career path too where there's this reference of putting something down right now meaning it's reached its full capacity like a hundred percent complete if that makes sense right so we're putting it down because it's like we've reached the end game of it and just like anything in nature winter comes the flowers they they fall back and they wither and then in spring they're renewed again 
so it comes back in a different form nature comes back in a different form in the spring and that's what i'm being shown with something in your energy right now um that your future self is referencing it's about letting go of something or allowing something to go so it can come back in a different form and you'll be at one percent then you'll be in a new frequency and you'll be able to have new memories or build something up completely different with this new energy that's what i'm being shown i feel like i'm clinging to something maybe even for the sake of it slightly as well or maybe from a comfortable perspective or maybe like i've always i've been comfortable in this energy and i've been in this energy for some time and i don't kind of like want to shake that up but i keep being shown i don't know if you've been trying to manifest something in recently or there's something you've been wanting to align with i see you energetically on a different timeline so think of it like a stamp i feel like you've been stamped with like a particular frequency and i feel like this person or this energy or this whatever path it is that you're on it has its own stamp and I feel like you're both in like different colors one of you's in blue one of you's in green and there's meant to be a bit of a journey apart because maybe you're meant to grow in ways they're meant to grow in ways or again it could be this pathway like career or whatever it is you're trying to build um you're meant to retrieve it in a different way you'll be looking at it in a different light or there's a different form in which it'll come around like there's a different um avenue that's going to come around same type of niche but different um different pathway trying something different looking at it from an elevated perspective um but you'll be a different person then you'll be in a different frequency so you'll be able to align with it then but it's almost like something needs to be let go of so something can come around in another form now for some of you guys this could also be spirit saying um that you guys may be connecting with like an old person but energetically um so you could be thinking back to like a person or really tapping into a person or maybe you waiting for like an apology or for somebody to come back this is only for some of you so if this doesn't resonate you can just into the air um but there's a reference of letting it go because i feel like it would come back in another form whether it's a, a person with a, a different frequency that's more aligned with you or this person needs time to grow away from you and then it'll come back there's something about i'm holding on to something maybe it's for the sake of it or maybe it's because i'm comfortable with it um this is like a comfort zone and the feeling of like loss maybe i'm avoiding feeling that feeling of loss or letting go of that discomfort of not knowing but i keep your future self keeps saying it's going to come around in another form there's going to be a better opportunity or there's going to be you're going to link up at another time where you're both in a brighter energy and you're just going to flow again but right now you're resisting the flow that's the message from your future self there's something that i'm clinging to or holding on to and again this could be because it feel i you, you'll know what it is because it's something that's not working at all for you right now it could be a friend you're butting heads with some some like a job that's just draining you right now um and it's because there's friction because it's two different frequencies it's two different um energies it's two different pathways the tides turned and we're still trying to swim in the other direction type of thing so that's what i'm being shown there's an undercurrent there's a shift there's something that you're aligning with maybe that they're aligning with or this thing that you're trying to bring in or you know whatever it is you're holding on to career wise or whatever it's like that that's shifting that's changing and i feel like right now i i feel like you're being lifted up off the ground to be placed somewhere else uh which is going to bring in a lot of new opportunity and things that are going to be more beneficial and i also feel for a lot of you guys is something you've asked for something that you've been trying to align with or something you've been trying to manifest in but this person doesn't fit or this energy doesn't fit it it doesn't the energy that they're in right now it doesn't fit they wouldn't align with it but letting go either they're going to go through their own growth period and then it'll come back around or something else is going to take its place because we're always moving through phases and moving through shifts and that's a reference from the future self look at where there's resistance right now and don't keep holding on when there's resistance if you flow everything will fall into alignment it's a really big message from your future self this resistance stops when you let go and surrender and fall into alignment that resistance stops then i feel like you naturally because it's just what you're used to or where there's comfort or where there's certainty i'm being told i'm holding on to that rope when i'm meant to leap into the water the whole reason i'm here is to swim in the water but i'm holding on to this rope when this rope was maybe a bridge or this rope was part of the process but that part of that process is over you know what i mean and maybe there's another rope underground that i can grab onto but i'm not letting go of this one it's like monkey bars you know we don't want to let go of the other one but there's something else coming leap in the net will appear that's the 
kind of message from your future self but look in your life at what you're resisting right now because if you're resisting it's not if, if it's resistant and it's crumbling it's something that's not um aligning with you right now that's what i'm being shown anything else please for it four of wands king of pentacles anything else there's a lot of new opportunities coming towards you as a message from your future self but we've got to close a door or we've got to at least step away from the old door or we've got to at least put one leg out of the old door <laughs> that's kind of like how it feels it's like I, it, there's a shake up coming in a good way because it's bringing in things that you would want it's new opportunity there's new energies there's new pathways but i'm holding on to something out of comfort that i need to let go of because not everyone as well is meant to come with you into certain phases um because sometimes people don't choose to walk the same path that you're walking and that doesn't mean that there's anything bad there it doesn't mean that there's negativity it doesn't mean like oh you're a bad person you're not choosing to grow it could be that it's that person's purpose to stay where they are right now or it's that person's purpose to go in a different direction it doesn't mean that they're then being bad for doing that too um because we are it, it's think of it like nature nature's constantly shifting and changing and, and evolving and then it comes back and it changes and evolves again even if you think of earth like at one point i'm sure i read like antarctica used to be a warm climate until obviously the poles shifted or whatever and then it froze over but it used to be a warm climate so we're all shifting and at one point it's going to be a warm climate again because the poles will always shift and that's earth shifting and changing like the weather we come from the earth you know like there was sea and bacteria and then there's little fishy things can't remember what they're called and then they turned into bigger fish and then they turned into mammals and then the fish grew legs and they came out of the ocean i don't know why i'm giving you a history lesson <laughs> but we were like tadpoles you know the legs grew we came out of the ocean we became human beings and we forget that we're actually a walking conscious piece of mother gaia we also go through our own shifts and changes because we are her you know so yeah i don't know why I, I decided to get so deep with the explanation but that's how it came through so i thought i'd pass it on um but i feel like right now there's a frequency that you're aligning with when news coming in and i feel like you may be holding on to something of the past or a comfort it reminds me of when i began doing the work i'm doing now i was working in a job that was paying me pennies like not good money and i knew i needed to leap and i've been manifesting i've been scripting and life started shaking up and i clung like just to give you like an example because you're not doing anything wrong it's very normal for human beings to cling on to the familiar i clung to the old even though there was nothing there for me and i didn't even enjoy it i clung even when i went through my ego death i clung to the old because it's like no i don't want this shake up even though i want the shake up because i want the new the shake up this is scary i clung so hard until it became unbearable for me to stay in that energy and i had to leap and obviously it worked out so that's what i'm being shown here um there's like another door and i feel like there's something on the other side of that door but we need to let go of the old one that's the message from your future self very to the point um that your reading is very to the point pile number three Pile number, pile number three, pile number three, guidance from pile number three's future self. I just, I don't know why it just came in my head, like, if human beings um if human beings tried to cling on to the old we'd also be sitting in wombs right now <laughs> like we wouldn't even be born because we'd be trying to hold on to like the comfort of being in the womb and the certainty of just staying in that you know what i mean like we wouldn't come up i don't know why i hear that i don't know if somebody just thought of that and i picked it up or if that's just a message but that just came into my head pile number three guidance from pile number three's future selves I keep wanting to reference though it's coming around in another form allow yourself to surrender don't hold on with that friction it's coming around 
in another form. We have Soul Craft. We have Inner Voice. One more card. And we have Insight. The back of the deck you have Create Space. Yeah, create space for the new. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's coming through. Creating space for the new. Shutting the door so something else can come in. Or resisting, um, allowing yourself to surrender um, from this frequency so that there's no resistance. So that the new can come in. Soul craft. Inner voice. Yeah, there's new being activated. And I feel like your intuition knows this. I feel like you know that there's new coming. Insight. Yeah, I feel like you're getting downloads. I feel like you're already being intuitively led where you need to go. Like you psychically know where you're headed. And that's a big message from your future self. However, it's like you're holding on to the... Like I know I'm jumping into the water and I know what to expect. And I know what I've been manifesting. However, this slab of earth feels comforting and fine for me right now. So I'm going to just... My feet are going to stay here. <laughs> and spirit's like jump, you know, jump into the water. That was the point. yeah whatever is resist whatever feels like it's resisting you right now whatever feels like there's friction release it fall into alignment fall back do things that are flowing and i feel like your path's gonna open for you that's the message from your future self i keep hearing it's just on the other side of that door that's what i keep hearing <laughs> So pile number three, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.